Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be telling you how much money you need to actually start an Amazon business. So before we get started, please consider clicking that subscribe button down below, um, just the red button, and then hitting the bell notification so that you know when I bring out new videos. So this is quite a common question and there are tons of different answers. So how much money do you need to get started on Amazon? Well, there's two approaches when selling on Amazon. There is the fast approach and then there is the slow approach. Um, and the fast approach means you have a lot more money to invest, you can buy a lot more stock at the beginning, you can do many more um, promotional tactics to jump up to the top page of Amazon and it's much easier if you have lots of money. And this is about £5,000. Um, now, if you want to do, oh, not if you want to, if you can only do the slow game, which is still worth it and it's still amazing, but it can take about two months um, to see real income. Um, this is um, probably the most common way to start because not everyone starts with a lot of money and you probably need between 800 and 1500 pounds and um, if you're going to take a course, maybe a thousand to um, 16, 1700 pounds. Um, that's probably how much you need to get started and it's not very much money. People think you need tons and tons of money but you really don't because if we break down the cost, and we're going to break down the cost in this video, but um, if you break down the cost, gosh it's really bright isn't it? Whatever. Um, if you break down the cost, you're, not, you're going to see that you don't actually need tons and tons of money to get started because the only thing you're buying is stock and you don't need to buy that much stock because it's your first order. So let's break down the cost now. So once you've found your product and you've found your supplier, there are obviously costs involved. So you have the cost of the product. You then have the cost if you're going to private label on the first order, which means putting your own name on it, your own packaging, that sort of thing. That will have a cost. You then have the cost of um, customs when it comes to your country. You have the cost of shipping. Um, you have the cost of, um, you have Amazon fees and you have referral fees. So if, and it would be easy if I was on like some sort of whiteboard here, but I'm not. But if, let's say, your item costs $1 to make, shipping is $1, that's now $2. Customs is, let's say, 20 cents. Why am I doing in dollars? Let's do this in pounds. We started in pounds. Um, let's say your item costs one pound, your second, your shipping costs two pounds, um, customs is 20p. We're now at two pound 20. Um, and then Amazon referral fee is 15%. So let's say you sell it for 10 pounds, that's one pound 50. Um, so you now have 10 pounds minus two pound 20, which is quick maths, uh, two plus two, four, um, which is seven pounds 80. Yep. Seven pounds 80 is how much you have after your product cost ship after your product shipping and customs cost. And then you also have minus one pound 50, which is six pounds, uh, six pounds 30. You now have you now have six pounds 30 left. Then you have um, Amazon's um, FBA fees, like um, picking and packing fee, which could be if this item is selling for 10, for 10 pounds, it's probably quite small and cheap. So we'll say that's another pound, which means you now have six, uh, five pound 30 left. Um, and at this point, you're pretty much in the clear. There may be a few miscellaneous costs, a few P here and there, like 20p, 30p, very, very small. But at this point, you're pretty much in, 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 in the plus, which means if you're making £5.30 off an item that you're selling for £10, your profit margin is over 40%, which is what we aim to do. It's in fact over 50%, which is brilliant. Um, so you can see that those are sort of the ideas and those are the numbers that you're going to have to take into account. You're going to have to take into account the cost of the product, the shipping, the customs, Amazon's referral fee, um, um, and um, fulfillment, um, FBA, like picking and packing fee. Those are the costs you're gonna have to take into account at the beginning. You might have to take into account advertising as well, maybe set aside 30p per, per click or 30p per item, um, but that sort of stuff. I mean, I get m way more into this in the course and it makes a lot more sense and I actually have it on like a, um, a slideshow so you can actually see the numbers. This is all coming from my head. But the, I, the point is, um, you don't actually need that much money to start. So if we really think about how much money you need to start, Think about it like this, you only have to pay the referral fee when you get a sale and you only have to pay the uh, picking and packing fee when you get a sale. The only money you need up front is the money to buy the stuff. So if the item was one pound and the shipping was one pound, that mean, and you want to order a hundred, that means you'll need 200 pounds to get started, right? That's really not that much money. Now these numbers are highly, highly deflated. 
I should say. Um, a product probably will cost you maybe two to three pounds. Shipping will cost you maybe a pound fifty to two pounds. But then again, you're going to be selling it for more. You probably sell it for fifteen to twenty pounds, maybe even twenty-five pounds. So it all it all makes sense at the end. But um, you will probably need, if you're going to make an order between 100 and 500 as your test order, you probably need um, a couple of hundred pounds, five, six hundred pounds, which isn't that much money to get started. It really, really isn't. And it's even less than what I said at the beginning of this video. So if you're curious about how much money you need to get started on Amazon, then that is how much you need. And to put your mind at ease, when we started, we started with 350 pounds. We made an order of 100 of our product. Um, and we started with one uh, with literally 350 pounds. Now our orders are way over 10,000 pounds because we've grown it so much. So you can really start from low and build your way up. And within two months, we were already making orders of 3,000 pounds. So you really build up quite a revenue, quite an income, and um, from starting, even if you're starting from 350 pounds or 500 pounds. So that is how much money you need to get started on Amazon. Leave a comment down below what you thought of this video and how much um, you have to start with Amazon or how much you think you need to start with Amazon. And uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Apparently it really helps with YouTube's algorithm or to get people to see my video. I don't know, but it really helps and it probably takes you about one second to do. It's just a click of the like button and I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, and hopefully I'll see you in tomorrow's video. So thank you so much guys for watching and girls.